Hey guys, I got another Battle Box video for you. This is going to be Mission 24. This is uh, February's, uh, February 2017's box. So stick around and we'll check it out. So we have BattleBox Mission 24 right here. We're going to get into it. Uh, BattleBox, if you're not familiar with it, is a subscription service. Uh, check out my other videos if you really want to know more about what it is. But essentially, it is a service that uh, provides you with uh, survival gear. And there's four different tiers. So we're going to go through all four tiers right now. Mission 24's theme is Camp Chef. Sit rep card right here. So your sit rep card shows you all four tiers and the value of each item. So we're going to go through them and I'll give you a value for each tier. So the basic tier is uh, the cost is $25, $24.99. There's several items in here and we're going to go through them in order. First item, very cool, is a portable pocket propane stove. So if you don't have one of these, you should have one if you spend any time outside. Um, these are really cool so basically they just screw on to uh, one of those portable propane canisters that you get in camping section of Cabela's or Walmart or uh, many other different places and this one has an igniter built in here that's very cool and then you control your gas right here so you can put a pot on there boil some water whatever you need uh, and they're super compact uh, nice to be able to have like a hot meal as opposed to just bringing granola bars everywhere. So um, very cool item. Um, I've got a few of these, so um, some different types. So maybe we'll do a little bit of a comparison between these at some point. So, and it's in a nice little protective case. So first item, there it is. Second item is a light my fire spice box. So. I don't know if mine is just kind of a little goofy, but the lid is sitting on here a little funny. But it's not going to affect the function of it. So basically it's just a, a box that's got three chambers in here and a little area where you can kind of uh, sprinkle them out. So there's, there's one that says S, I'm assuming for salt, one that says P, I'm assuming for pepper, and one that is just for whatever. So uh, it's just got a dot on it. So very cool. Um, nice little sturdy container that you can take with you. Uh, doesn't weigh much, so not going to be a big deal to have that in your pack. The third item is the Backcountry Cookbook. Here we go. Awesome. So it looks like this is a got a whole bunch of different recipes that are going to be easy to cook kind of out on the trail or if you're camping or whatever. So um, very cool. We going through this and seeing if there's some good stuff in here. Looks there's some good pictures and things in here. Looks like there's some good food. Um, they've got some Dutch oven stuff. They got frying pan stuff. Very cool. Next item is a telescoping hot dog marshmallow roaster, which is right here. So my initial reaction to this was, all right, well that's kind of silly. Like we're we're getting a we're getting a marshmallow roaster. However, this is actually pretty cool. It's heavier duty than I was expecting um, when I read that. Uh, but on the other hand too, it, it folds up into such a small size that that would make it really easy to cook something. You can cook fish, you can cook hot dogs, um, not necessarily just marshmallows. So um, kind of a neat little, little addition uh, to your pack if you're going somewhere where you, that's how you want to cook. So. Next item, uh, Ready Man Campfire Skewer. So essentially the same thing, just in a much more portable version. Uh, this is one that you can put in your wallet if you want, uh, and it folds out uh, and just attaches to a stick that you find. So that, uh, that's kind of neat. And I think those are only, if you want more of those or want something like that, they're like three bucks. So kind of cool. Um, I, I would imagine this is more of a one-time use type thing. Uh, unless you wanted to kind of try to pound that flat once you bent it the way you're supposed to. So, ready man skewer. 
Also, with all of the uh, Battle Box uh, levels, you get the Ready Man basic uh, renewal in this case. Uh, Ready Man is kind of a online forum uh, survival type thing where they have some classes and some forums and people discuss uh, survival. So, very cool. They also sell some different products like this. Uh, this is sold by Ready Man, this skewer. Got a lot of different. Um, versions of this card that have a bunch of different tools in it so that's kind of neat the next box is the oh i'm sorry the basic box so that's the 25 dollars box and the total value of all of these things is 48 dollars and 73 cents so um looks like the uh the propane stove is about 12 bucks the book's about 10 bucks uh the rest of the items are pretty low um next is the advanced box so the advanced box has two items uh, the first item is a Wildo Camp Camp a Box Complete. So it looks like this is this is kind of just like a mess kit. So it's like a lightweight uh, mess kit, which is nice. Um, you get a couple of like bowl slash plates here. You get a cutting board slash strainer. Uh, you get a spork. Uh, you get a couple of cups or cups or bowls, kind of. Here that fold out I think these fold to become bigger yeah so you get a couple of couple of cups there two different sizes uh, here's your other your other bowl and looks like this is a spice container as well so yeah so this one has three different containers in here for spices uh, one big one and two smaller ones so uh, very very cool That's the Wildo, what do they call that? The Campa Box Complete. So it's it's really a mess kit. Kind of neat. Let me get rid of this box here. All right. Next item. This one, uh, this one I'm kind of looking forward to because I don't have one of these and I probably should. Um, this is a uh, portable campfire collapsible tripod. So. Basically, this is just like a tripod that you can use to hang something over your fire like a Dutch oven or a coffee pot or something to, to boil some water and this is actually Pretty stout which is kind of cool. These don't weigh a ton, but um, They seem to be really well made actually It's not as cheap as like a I'm sure they have like versions of this like Walmart brands and stuff and this doesn't seem like a Walmart brand type item to me so um, that's cool I look forward to using that um, it doesn't it's not it's not the lightest thing though I will say that but uh, I'm sure there's lighter versions of this out there but I think the value on this is like it's like 26 bucks so um, I'm sure they have titanium versions out there but you're not going to get those for 26 bucks so very cool All right, so that does it for the advanced box. The advanced box total value uh, comes up to $105.67. So uh, we added those two items. Uh, the Pro Box uh, is a $99 box and that has, it's got one item. Uh, it also upgrades you to the Ready Man Premium membership. So let's see, this other item is at the very bottom. Let me see if I can get it without spoiling it easy. Can I do it? Ugh. All right, so um, the Pro Box has a uh, propane camp stove in it. So that's cool, a two burner stove. Um, these are nice to have. I've, we've got a couple of these, um, and so uh, it's always good to have an extra um, if you're cooking for a big group and you just you want to cook outside. Uh, this is a good way to go. So we've got one uh, Coleman version and now we've got this one. This one's a Stan Sport uh, version. So uh, very cool. It just hooks to those little portable propane canisters and uh, and you've got your uh, your adjustments there. So pretty self-explanatory. Most people are familiar with these. Um, it's It's got some weight to it. This is obviously not going to be a backpacking item for most people. So There we go. All right, so the Pro Plus box usually has uh, a knife in it. And so this month it does have a knife in it, but it also has three other 
Uh, one, two, two other items. So we've got three items in the Pro Plus box. Usually it's just one single item, so that's kind of neat. The first item is a knife, and it is by Utica Cutlery Company. It's a pretty cool knife. This is a USA made knife. It's got its own uh, its own sheath here. It's kind of an injection molded plastic sheath. It's not Kydex, but it functions uh, much the same way. Um, it's got a sharpener in the, it's like that carbide cutter style sharpener in the, uh, in the sheath here. And it's also got a fire steel with its own striker. So kind of unscrew this. And you've got its own striker here. And I can see if I can do it here. It's kind of hard to hold on to this old thing. There we go. Through. There we go. So you usually have to get this little uh, black coating off of these first. So first couple strikes are a little bit weak. Anyway, so that's cool. It kind of goes right into the sheath here. It's built right in. It's not going to go anywhere on you. And the knife itself is, uh, like I said, made in the USA. It's a really nice stout, stout blade, and it uh, it comes pretty sharp actually. So that's kind of neat. Um, you've got kind of a two-piece, like a micarta, and it might even be a G10 or something. It might be a G10, not a micarta. I'm not sure, but um, and it looks like it's got like a little skull crusher slash glass breaker on the back. Got a finger choil here for choking up. So very cool. That's a Utica UTK S4. Not too bad. And uh, it also has like a belt clip here that came with it. So, and something else in here. Limited lifetime warranty. Very cool. So this is the smallest, it looks like, of the UTK series. They've got a, a UTK S5 and a B6, so. There's that. So, very cool. I always like getting a new knife. Um, the next item is a CRKT adjustable paracord bracelet. Ah, uh, this is kind of big. Looks like it's got a bottle opener on it, and I think you can adjust it. Let's see if I can do this in the camera. Looks like you can kind of pick whatever size you want here on these little loops. It's kind of a neat, neat design. Um, it should be said that I don't, I don't have the biggest wrists in the world, but it looks like I'm using the furthest one out. Maybe I can use the second one. So if you have real big wrists, this might not fit you real well. But uh, there it is. Um, this is kind of a kind of large for me, but. I know a lot of people like to wear these, so um, I usually wear the smaller ones if I'm gonna wear one when I go out in the woods. Uh, but this is kinda cool, it's got a bottle opener here on it. Uh, looks like you probably wanna take it off before you use the bottle opener, but maybe not. So that's cool. Let's see if I can get it off. Well, I'll just leave it on, how about that? All right, so uh, the last item uh, is uh, is really exciting. The last item is one that I don't believe they put into the total value, but it is free item. It is pork berry pork barrel barbecue spicy sriracha bacon jerky. Bacon jerky. That's right. We're gonna try this right now. If I'm real quiet about it. I might not have to share. Nope, she's shaking her head. Well, as you'd expect, that's delicious. It's bacon, and it's jerky, and it has sriracha flavor in it. Excuse me. Yeah. That's delicious. So that's it for the items in the box. Uh, there's usually some uh, some different uh, coupons in here. It looks like we've got a few. Uh, we've got one. So BattleBox is doing, uh, it's, I think it's the same people doing uh, another subscription box called Barbecue Box. Uh, so this looks like you've got a 40% off for Barbecue Box. That's cool if you want to check that out. Uh, this 
appears to be just a card for Wildo, which is the mess kit. Um, I don't see I don't see anywhere on here that says that you get a discount on their stuff. So that looks like just an ad. And then this last one is a 10% off and free personalization. So uh, they'll do a laser mark on the blade uh, if you buy any of the Utica Utica cutlery stuff. So that's cool. 10% off and some, some customization. Uh, I should also say that this this uh, packing material, there was a bunch of it in here. I take it out before the videos because it makes a big mess trying to do that and record. So, um, however, it does make really good tinder. So, there we go. That's it. Battle Box Mission 24 uh, Camp Chef. So, um, very cool. So, you know, I kind of showcase these items just so that you can see what's in the box. I'm not endorsing Battle Box, I'm not saying you should go out and buy it. I'm saying here's what's the, the types of things that are in BattleBox, and if these things are useful to you, then you should check it out. So, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.